Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition. And we are back here with the Leobly Empire, our carnivorous empire who loves snacking on all things that can be slathered with barbecue sauce. And we're back over at the Void Empire uh, home planet. And this is the unfortunate eyeball real estate that we have been looking at for quite some time. This is their home planet. It's actually a pretty nice one. We come over here to get some shields to eat. They've got some decent plants, some very interesting interesting fauna. I think this is actually where that like carnivorous flamingo bird is and I think that's actually over here. But yes, yeah, so the voids are offering us up this system to purchase and I love buying home plants because usually all of the um, cities will stay and you can get so much more spice from a home planet than you can from a colony. So we have five million spore bucks we're going to throw in their faces and hopefully they will be willing to let us buy it this time. I'm not sure if they'll let us or not because it is a home planet so I think we just have to have 10 million but let's see what five million does for us today. We hate to reject an offer from our glorious friend, but the sum is a little below our expectation. No! Alright, so we still don't have enough. I had a feeling that was probably going to be the way it was, so now it has reset the trade route, and we must again wait before, um, must wait again, yes, yes, before we're able to purchase this empire. So that's unfortunate. Oh, they have cute little houses! Cute little pagoda houses! Alright, well you guys do you. Enjoy your delicious looking eyeball trees. Oh, I hate eyeball trees. And then we'll come back with 10 million spore bucks and try to buy this next time. So phooey, that didn't work out, but that's okay because we are actually going to be working on the creature tweaker. So we finally, finally, finally have managed to get the badge that we needed so that we can get the doo -doo 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 creature tweaker. We went and we got the traveler badge. We contacted 10 alien empires and that means that we can now have the bio tweaker and we're going to use the bio tweaker to populate an entire planet full of space cats. And that is something we've been working on for a long time with this empire. It's amazing how long it takes because we are trying to make, here it is, the Pet Shop Pop, an entire system that is going to be dedicated 100% to different kinds of animals uh, that we're going to use as pets. Different animals that we find very interesting and we will spread through our conquered galaxy as pets that the Leopli have, including the space cats and I think we even have a species somewhere in here. It's not that guy. This guy is just weird looking. But somewhere in here, there's the space kitty! Yay! is this, the Red Zebrax. And the Red Zebrax is actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can go get a good look at him. Because I think the Red Zebrax is Red Z, oops, Z, let's say Red. Let's just start with Red. And then, no, oh wait, maybe it's like the Zebrax. Oh, it's the Ruby, excuse me, the Ruby Zebrax. But this guy, isn't he so cool? He almost looks like, you know, they, they have the joke about unicorns, like in rainbows. It looks like this guy would be like rubies. The ruby zebrax and rubies. Alright, so yeah, I think that this is another really cool creature that the Leopli would keep just running in wild herds as kind of pets or decorative animals. Kind of the way a lot of people keep birds or like they let peacocks stroll across their lawns. So I think that's what the ruby zebrax would be like for the Leopli. But let's see where we can buy the creature tweaker for the cheapest. And we'll continue working on building up our big planets uh, that have a lot of spices and we earn a lot of spice from. And trying to get to 10 million spore bucks so we can buy some home systems. Alright, do you sell the creature tweaker? He sells the super sizer. And some colony and credit packs. <gasps> the creature tweaker! There we go. Alright. Oh man, they're expensive. <laughs> um, Alright, we're going to buy all of them though. Because we do need them. And then before we get started and settled in on taking care of our space cats, we'll go check in on Lotus. Lotus is our most productive empire. Ah, here it is. And Lotus is right here. We're still carrying on um, some trades with these guys, the Mysterious Empire. And I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember we got down here and we're like, this is the most amazing planet ever. I have to own this. Was it because it looked kind of like Spinxy? I think they had some other things too, like they have some treasure and I'm not so interested in the treasure. Yeah, it's like this really cool Sphinx planet. Was it the creatures? I kind of feel like it's the creatures. Man, it really does look amazing though. Because it looks like there's just like pyramids set into the sands. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, what are you guys? Oh my gosh, what are you guys? Hang on now. The magma what? 
llama brassers or llama brasserie. The magma llama something. Oh my gosh, are those sheep? <gasps> no, wait, they're mushrooms. What? What? The shrill ribbits? What am I looking at here? Okay, they have a cool planet. I don't even remember these guys. It's like a mushroom hermit crab. That's the coolest thing ever. How would you exist, little buddy? It looks like he has like little chip monkey teeth even. Wow, he's really interesting. Okay, part shiitake mushroom, part mushroom, part rabbit, all freaky. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so cool. So those are the creatures that they've got here. I don't remember why else we wanted this planet. Maybe just because it was pink spice. It looks cool, that's good enough for me. I would probably rename it like, I don't know, Magma Pyramid Planet or something like that. We'll have to come up with a better name than that. That wasn't a very good name. All right, but we are trying to keep Lotus and this little galaxy spruced up because this is going to make us a lot of money once we really get it up and going due to all of the valuable spices that they have. And apparently I have no more room for spices, so we'll have to fix that. Um, let's see. And can I get another colony and credit pack down here? Probably. All right, hang on. I know there was another empire. It was these. We're going to destroy, probably destroy that empire. But we make a few friends here and there. And then there was another planet. I think it was a pink spice planet that we've taken over up here. Yep. We'll have to tend to that one. But we do need to do better upgrades. Because when we were trying to get money last time, it was really hard. And here's the little blue dragons I totally fell for. But yeah, when we were trying to get money last time, it was really, really hard. Here, we're going to sell them the Scroll of Harmony. Because I thought they... Wait, aren't you people of Harmony? Diplomacy, philosophy... Oh, this is prosperity! Never mind, I'm not going to sell you my Scroll of Harmony. I'll sell the Scroll of Harmony to the Predators. Which sounds really weird, but we actually do have the Predators. Like the Alien versus Predators Predators. They're all the way over here. I'm going to have to hoof it to get over to them. No, and they're colonizing things. Stop colonizing things. Is that you guys? No, maybe... Is that these guys? I think it's these guys, actually. Is this the aliens versus predators, predators? The savage faith? Or was it these guys? Security zone. Diplomacy. Philosophy. This is the philosophy of force. Okay, so we're going to get in a fight with these guys. That's just going to happen. And this is a new planet that we have with two purple spice and two green spice. So I need to spruce that up at some point. But I'm trying to find... I could have sworn the alien versus predators guys were somewhere around here. And we found them last time, and I was like, what the heck, a doodle? Huh. All right. Well, I guess it's first come, first serve on these scrolls. <laughs> Meanwhile, I kind of need some juice. <laughs> we'll see if maybe we can sell our purple spice here for a good price. Hello, little void empire. I have a su I'm like a bit of a sucker for dragons, I'm finding. The little dragon creatures. Oh, I better recharge while we're here. All right. Well, enough of that nonsense. I want to get to, like, building stuff or, like, making cuts. But let's come over. I'm going to do my due diligence. And we'll buy a colony and credit pack or two. And work on making a better, a better little colony area. All right. Salutations, my friend, the Mysterious Empire. Going to buy a couple colony and credit packs. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. They're buying the purple spice for so much. That is so worth it. Thank you, little guys. Thank you. And then I can get a couple spice storages purchased. There we go. I can even get the hot cloud vacuum and the cold cloud vacuum with the money they have. They're just so excited. They're beside themselves. I'm beside myself. We're all beside ourselves. We're all happy. All right. Nice doing business with you, my friend. Keep that price for next time. I can bring you back so much purple spice. You won't even be able to believe how much purple spice. All right, so these guys are already maxed out, so I think they're producing spice as quickly as possible, and they have the spice storage unit on their planet. So let's finish up with these guys. I think I need like one more colony here. Is it a T3? It is a T3, so I can just smack down a colony. We can improve the colony. Down you go, colony. And then once the colony is improved, we can put down one of the spice storage units, and then we know this, boom! This planet is good to go. We don't have to worry about it again. It can just start producing lots of money. What's the hunting like on this planet? I forget. Hello? Little creatures? Not to alarm you. Just a hungry Leo, please. <gasps> it's dinosaurs! I forgot about that! Dinosaurs and sperm whales running wild in the forest. I'm sure that's what everybody expects to find on an alien planet. Alrighty then. Alright, back over here and we'll swing around. We've got some happy dancing Leo play. 
And this is what the factory looks like on this planet, by the way. It's a scorpion. It's a giant scorpion. I thought that looked really cool. The entertainment, I'm saying these are those uh, gemstones that another planet that we tend to raid because they're stuck in civilization stage and we like hold them down and don't let them ever enter space. We restrict their ability to progress technology wise. They have those. So I'm going to say that we just stole those from that planet. Like we just raid their mega cities and take their beautiful space crystals and decorate with them. Because that's what the Leo play do. You can't be nice all the time. Not if you're a Leo play. That's just not the way it works. Not the way it works at all. All right, so we've got plenty of entertainment. I gotta get more factories down. Where will I put down the factories? Over there, over there. Uh, let's see, this will produce more too. Hey, uh, will you produce more? That'll make people happier. And well, that's always a, a worthwhile thing. It's not quite what I'm going for here. This will make somebody happier. Uh, what if I put something over here? That'll make them work faster. Eh, why not just make them happier? I mean, maybe I can do both. Uh, where's another scorpion? Come here, scorpion. 96. You know what? For, for, hang on. All right, let's scooch this around. No! All right, let's try it like this. 96 an hour and still an unhappy face. 84 an hour. 72 an hour. All right, I'll take 84 an hour and everybody happy. All right, no fussing at me now. There, and then we smack down the turrets. And now, like with so many turrets on each city, each city is now maxed out on turrets. We don't have to worry about this planet. And that's really great. You just take the time to kind of set it up and then it will reward you. Look at the vehicles they're using. They're using gold plated. <laughs> they're using these gold plated ships. That's amazing. Gold plated tanks. That's the gold that we have melted down from the jewelry of the fallen empires that we have conquered. And then this colony air. I love this one. I love this epic transport because it's it's an epic transport. So basically, we are transporting these tentacle beasts everywhere in these ships. And these are the spice ships that we're using to collect spice and kind of patrol the skies here. Absolutely awesome. I adore that. All right, we can even smack down a few plants. We like to put down the blooms of euphoria, which are very spiky and purple, and those are both those are both things that Leopoldi love. So blooms of euphoria can go down. We'll even put down um, hmm, a festivity fountain that looks somewhat normal, and even some lamps of delight that probably have some sort of like weird incense in them because that's the Leo Plea way. There you go, little guys. Produce so much stuff for me. And oops, I need to put the spice storage on this this uh, planet. But look at that. They've already got two spice ready for me. But we can pop down and just plunk a spice storage down by one of the cities. Do, 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 do. And there you go. And then this is the spice storage unit. There's some food. And the spice storage unit will double what the uh, planet is able to hold. And there's some yummy mushroom eaters. Right next to the uh, frogs upon a mushroom. So I think there's a little bit of uh, ecosystem balancing going there. Alright, speaking of ecosystem balancing, phew! Now that I've done my due diligence and we have upgraded a little bit one of the um, primrose, because this is one of our main main areas. I really need to come up with a naming theme. I was thinking like flower names, but that doesn't sound threatening enough. Maybe carnivorous flowers. Maybe we'll start naming each of the galaxies that we want to use as like our main money hubs after like fierce animals. That would be really cool. Like the tiger, the tiger system. And then we'll Primrose needs a rename then. But like we'll come by all of the different systems and we know, hey, that's my moneymaker system. So I can stop like floundering around with my not, not well done moneymakers. All right, so we're back to pet shop hop. And don't really need to worry about these guys. Apparently, they're. You, this is a space cadium. I think they should be doing spice. All right, and then over here, we need to rename this planet. So let's pop down on it. But this planet is going to be the planet that we are actually going to keep our space cats on. So uh, let's see. No, I don't want to hang out with the Grox. So you guys can just forget about that. All right, rename planet. Um, let's see. Cattery. It's just going to be named Cattery. So this is Planet Cattery. If we pop off the surface for a second and then back on. There we go. So this is the Cattery and this is where all the space cats are going to be. And let's go ahead and we need to make a couple new space cats before we can really focus on designing this planet. Right now there's just one herbivorous space cat. So let's go find where those guys are. 
Is there a little population down here? Oh, they're so cute. There's a whole bunch of space kittens right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay. And actually, we need to have room for them too, don't we? Very good thing I remembered that at the last second. Um, let's see. Am I gonna just a uh, blue cosmic slug? Well, I'm I'm saying that's the cruise dinner. There we go. It's a cruel world sometimes, is a Leo Blee. All right, let's see. Creature tweaker. Creature tweaker. There we go. Creature tweaker. And now we are going to click on a little creature. Hold still, little one. And here we go. So this is the space cat. And whoops, sorry about that little one. And we need to make a second herbivorous space cat. And I think we're going to mostly leave like a lot of the features the same. I might swap the eyes out. So, ooh, man, that's a weird looking eye on that little guy. I wonder why we don't have all the eyes unlocked. Let's try creepy and cute. I wish I could unlock all the parts. I might, I might use a cheat to unlock all the parts in the future. All right, let's just upgrade the space cat eye a little bit. Hi, buddy. And we'll kind of shrink your eye down a little bit. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, you're just adorable. And then we'll do something fun with it, like maybe give it some tails, like extra tails. Let's see if that's something I can find bits and pieces for. Um, oh, we could do like a little feathered tail. Oh, so cute. There's actual feathers. We could make a flying space cat. <gasps> okay, that's going to have to be something that happens. We're going to make a flying space cat. Oh my gosh, yes. And a lot of these are going to be kind of variations on the same body theme. And then as time goes on, we might kind of ramp it up from there. But we'll do a flying space cat. And it'll just have one little feather on the top of the head for now. Just one little feather. Oh, and I bet that's what the Leo Pleat would love. Because they also have a feather on top of their head. And it actually represents, like, their ferocity and their fierceness. So even though these are going to be another herbivore, because we have to have a few herbivores on the planet to support the ecosystems, I think the Leo Pleat would still love them because they're going to have feathers on their head. All right, let's give them some good, some good adorable looks. All right, this is the typical space cat look. Uh, creepy and cute... See, these are all creepy. And this is kind of like a feathered space cat. What would you look like if you're blue? Kind of cute, but not quite not quite what we're looking for. Wow, your 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 throat is blue. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, we might just try some things out. What about this one? <gasps> like this one. What if it's kind of like a canary? A space cat canary. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, he's so cute. Why are you so cute? Oh, I can't use the, like, the drive thing. Oh my gosh. It's a space cat canary. Okay. We're going to do this. All right. Can we rename him? All right. Space cat. And then we're going to say, um, let's see. Space cat. This is going to be canary cat. Canary cat. There we go. Uh, in adaptation. Adaptation. Yep. Yeah, of the space cat form. This time with feathers. Although a herbivore, or I should say, although exclusively, exclusively a seed eater, the space cat loves, the space cat is loved by Leo Plea for its fierce feathers. Because Leo Plea grow feathers depending on how many things they've like defeated. Man, I should probably upload these if you guys want them. Let me know if you guys want our modified animals as we go along. Or even the Leo Plea themselves. And I'll be happy to find a place to put them where you can get them. Alright, so then we'll just do like space cat, cat variations, Leo Plea creations. There we go. So for the tags and boom. So cute. Very happy. Canary space cat, and then I think it's going to be inside of our inventory. I need to find it. <gasps> we have five of them! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! This is so exciting! Yes! Okay! Okay, we need to go terraform some things so we have some more space. And then we're going to make a carnivorous version of the space cat. So huzzah, my friends! There's our first space cat. Definitely gave it way too much thought. <laughs> I definitely dove way too far into that and just was like thinking too hard about it. But I had a great time and that was fun. And we're going to make so many more space cats. We're going to pick up some of the, um, some of our awesome spice. Oh my gosh, this is going to make us so much money when we really get like these planets up and going. Hey, you want to buy the uh, spice from across the way for a lot? No? Okay, that's fine. So, oh, what? 
Why is somebody unhappy with me? What just happened? Who are you? Get out of here! Who's messing with my planet? Why are they unhappy with me? Mmm. 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 I have no idea what that was about. All right, well, let's work on another one of our green planets, our green spice planets. Um, just because I'm trying to balance things out and because we have all this stuff and I don't want to jettison it all. Yes, technically we could just eat everything, but look, here's this the perfect planet for our canary cats. It's perfect. We just need to go ahead and start warming it up. All right. Ah, dang it. I don't have the warm, the ability to add atmosphere and heat things up at the same time. All right, we'll stick our space cats down over here and try to clear our inventory out a little bit. And the next time we come back and we will make a new carnivorous cat. This is going to be really fun. I really should, if you guys have Spore, and you would have to have both Spore and its expansion, the cute and creepy stuff pack. I also have um, the Galactic Adventures pack. But if you guys would like, I'll f try to find a spot to like put them because Spore creatures are so easy to share because they're literally a .png file. They're just an image file. And I think that's brilliant because they're small. They don't take up a lot of space. Uh, a lot of you guys just send me your Spore files, like your creatures that you've created to add into my world, our universe, I should say, the entire universe, um, just by like, you guys will do it just by, there we go. I'm just going to do this. There we go. By sending them to me an email, so I mean it's super easy. All right, we're gonna put down a maple tree because that's gonna be a perfect cat scratching tree, and then this looks kind of like catnip, so we're gonna put this down. And then where's like a good medium plant? And um, this looks kind of interesting, like a cat toy, so it'll go down here too. And then we'll go ahead. A schneel can be here because schneels are good eating, lots of fatty fat like blubber on them that the leopli enjoy. And then our little canary cat. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Canary cat! What happened to your legs? There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so then we have our canary cat. That's so adorable. And I guess we could add a space barracuda over here. That seems kind of excessive. Oh, let's add one of these omnivore guys I really like. They're so cool. They're like a flamingo thing. They're one of the creatures I want to spend a day in the life of. And we're going to start doing that pretty soon too, where we actually spend like a couple episodes, maybe two or three episodes, living the life of these creatures or even the creatures you guys send in. So it'll be really fun. I love Spore. It just never gets old for me. All right. And then we're just about ready to go. But I think if we kind of warm the planet up just a bit more, we've almost got an ideal ability to throw down more of the creatures that we're carrying around do 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 and get another colony set up it looks like i'm starting a forest fire look at this oh yeah and i'm almost out of energy that was probably not the best idea oh well all right i'm standing by with the trees the plants do i have a different kind of tree i could use i sure do and then do i need a, a medium plant uh, i've got one of those i don't know if blue was the right color for this planet but well we've made our decisions now all right we can put down the dove creatures and i guess some of the ruby sources can go here too and then why not not the red max i actually don't like that guy so <laughs> we'll put down this magma guy because he's kind of cool and he's gonna come over and eat the horses unfortunately run little one run dove run use those spindly legs you've got this maybe Oh dear. All right. And it looks like I need a bush and then I'll be able to finish this uh, this planet off. So I'm going to go grab a bush and just finish this planet off. Maybe set up a colony or two and then I will catch you guys back here next time. Oh my gosh, these guys are already producing so much spice. And I'll catch you guys back here next time when we will make some more space cats. I'm so excited.